Hello, this video demonstrates how to use macro feature in Solver's file to automatically run some code on document loading. In this example, we'll be using the technique to automatically log entry into the external text file whenever file with macro feature is being loaded. Let's go ahead and download the source code for this macro from the CodeStack website. We need to navigate to SolidWorks Goodies menu. Now activate the model category and select the automatically run macro on model load uh, macro and we need to copy the source code from here into two modules in the macro so let's firstly copy the first part which is going to be our base macro just copy come back to SolidWorks create new uh, VBA macro let's give it some name so for example uh, log macro feature click save and paste the source code over here Let's come back to the website and copy the another part of the code. We need to place it into the module code handler module and it is important to name it exactly as it mentioned uh, in the site. So let's give it a name handler module and copy the source code. So basically this uh, function will be called every time the module opens which contains this macro feature. As a next step I want to copy the source code to write text into the file. I can find that on the CodeStack website. I need to go to Programming Visual Basic section, go to Algorithms, File System Object, Input and Output, and there is a code snippet for writing the data into the text file. I can just copy that and paste it into my uh, macro feature. So you can see that method has three parameters. One called File Pass, basically where I want to write my data. Second parameter is the content, what I want to write, and the third one, whether I want to append the content or not. Because this log file is going to be maintained across the sessions, I want to append it. So let me create a new log.txt file and just copy the uh, location of it. I need to paste that as a first parameter of my method. Second parameter is a content, which is equal to my log entry. I'm just going to output the path of my file and the current and date stamp with a comma in between. So this is going to be a CSV file, which I could open in something like Excel, for example. I can go ahead and modify some parameters of my macro feature. So for example, I can set this flag to true. So macro feature is going to be embedded into my model. So I can share it, it with everyone and everywhere it's going to uh, add the log entry. So I could just open that part and I'm just going to insert that macro feature over here. Before that, I'm just going to also modify the base name of the macro feature and let's call it log and simply click uh, run. So that adds new feature in my feature tree. So I can scroll down and you can see there is a log uh, macro feature insert into the feature. Tree. Now the log entry will be created every time my model is opened or whenever my macro feature is inserted. So if I open this log.txt file, you can see there is already one log entry. So let me now close my uh, assembly and try to load it again. And obviously, whenever you load an assembly with a component, the component is also loaded into the memory, which is going to trigger the uh, log as well. So now I open the top level assembly and I can see the log entry in my uh, text file so you can see it's it there so for example if i open the assembly uh, as lightweight or if my component was suppressed the model is not loaded into the memory and the log entry won't be created so let me just create it as a lightweight click open and if i open my uh, log file i should not see that new log entry over there so you can see it's still two entries but now if I resolve my assembly, this will trigger the document to load and that would add another log entry into my file. So you can see it's here. That of course will work if I just open the file on its own or even if I create a copy of that file. So for example, like in this case, I'm just going to copy it somewhere else and open it from here. And because the macro feature is embedded into the feature tree, that would also uh, send the log over here. And of course, you can even share that with anyone outside of your organization or within your organization. And as long as macro feature is embedded into the file, uh, they do not need to run any additional macros to make it work. You can use this technique to uh, run any other type of the code when a document is open. Thank you for your time.